Right, we'll get this waste disconnected off. Right, oops. Beautiful, wasn't it? Now then guys, how's it going? Hopefully you're all doing well, or a lot better than the weather. It's pouring it down again this morning. I don't know if you can hear it on the van. Um, I've had a, not a nightmare few days. Well, I guess you could call it a nightmare. I'm in a higher van, I don't know. Interior's a little bit different. Um, but I went to pick this van up on Thursday. Originally, they were supposed to be dropping it off at the office. I rang them up on Wednesday to confirm the booking and basically I had to go and pick it up. The van was about 30 miles away. So I've had to send me and another lad out there to pick the van up. I get there, didn't know anything about it. Um, he made some inquiries and yeah basically there was no van sat there for me it was supposed to be there at half eight there was no van so I ended up sitting in a higher place van centre for five hours last Thursday which completely knackered up my my entire schedule so I wasn't best pleased that was the insurance company who sorted all that out I had nothing to do with it um, this van is not really suitable I was supposed to be getting a transit custom they can't even get in the side door on this van because they haven't actually sent the the fob out for it the only way you can get inside door is to keep coming inside and unlocking unlocking it uh, manually which is a bit of a nightmare when you're trying to get tools in and out um so yeah they rang me up friday night wanting to swap the van but i'd already loaded everything up for saturday morning i had to work saturday because all, i didn't get to my first job till half three on thursday because i was all morning sorting the van out and or all morning sat in the higher place and by the time i'd got my van my tool switched over taking my van to the repair center it was like half two so i didn't i i didn't get to my first job till like three half three so it was an absolute nightmare so that pushed all my thursday jobs back to friday and then my friday jobs back to saturday morning so i ended up working saturday morning as well so i didn't manage to get any footage of any of them jobs i had one or two interesting ones as well which was a bit of a bit of a shame really but i just needed to get a get a move on i'm just sat outside this job i've just been in signed in actually i can't actually get in till for about another 20 minutes we're forming some wet rooms i've got a a door i think they call it a door drain basically i'll, I'll need to connect that into the into a waste pipe somewhere to stop any water coming out of the room and we're forming a taking the tray out and we're forming a bit of a, a wet room i wanted to use the weddy floor system where you, you basically take the chipboard up and screw that directly on but they're not that's not how they're doing it on these they are forming it in there in the plywood i'm not i'm not exactly sure but all i'm going to do is set my vinyl floor trap up low enough and then the floor layers will sort all that that's all i've been asked to do uh so uh, just got to take the toilet and basin out the same ones are going back in so we've got to carefully remove them all we've got to do is set set the floor drains up really um so yeah that's that's this morning's job anyway um but yeah i'm just waiting to get in so yeah my last thursday friday and saturday morning it's just been playing catch up through absolutely no fault my own. i 100 blame well the insurance company and the hire place really because it's just not really not really good enough for us sitting there five hours but nothing i can do about it obviously i was stranded in the middle of nowhere and uh he said oh do you want to go and do, do you want to go and get a mac here and i was like not really and the, the fact that they just lied to you as well because obviously i was the only one in there i heard the guy on the phone he was obviously trying to sort out and they, they were bringing the van from like london or somewhere he says oh the van will be here in like an hour and i put it in on my sat nav on the phone to see how far away the place was it was like three hours and 15 minutes with current traffic i was like it's not gonna be here in an hour is it you don't just just don't lie to me i'm fairly reasonable but i just don't like being lied to um but yeah we'll uh, try and get some shots this week so hopefully we can make an interesting video so this is the job basically, uh, new flooring, uh, this wall stain, I've just taken that pedestal out, I'm hoping, apparently it's just having new vinyl so it should be exactly the same, we should be able to get that pedestal back in after. Um, reusing the existing toilet, them tiles are staying, again I've just taken the toilet out, or we'll put a new pan connector on when we come back. It's already got one floor drain in there, but taking the shower tray out, floor drain in the middle, that one over there, that Macau Pine. Obviously, I'll have to find the waste. The waste at the minute is in that back corner. And then I've got another floor gully to put in that door. And then once we get this floor up, I need to basically get a waste along for that. There's uh, like a trap at the bottom. You, put, you set this up to your vinyl, your vinyl height. So, yeah, that's the, the plan. So, what is that? like a Macau Pine trap just goes off that and then into the into the waste. The only thing I'll probably be able to do is just tee it in. But it's not like that's gonna be in constant use. It's not like that's gonna be flooding. It just needs a connection for a drain. So yeah, that is the plan. Obviously, tiles aren't coming off too well. I've got to take that shower off as well because that's being reboarded. So I'll just have to cap them pipes off and hope, 
I can connect that back up. The shower valve is, is being reused. It's a Trevi Therm, I think. I think it's a Trevi Therm. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's being reused anyway. So that's the gist of the job. It's just flipping out. The worst bit will just be setting these gullies up, really. And then once all the flooring's down, it's all been boarded, we can just come back and put the stuff in. Right, these tiles are not coming off great, as you can tell. It's going to it's going to all be reboarded anyway, so that's going to have to be dot and dabbed. This wall will probably come off, and we'll just walk through plasterboard that. It's been mermaid boarded over the top, and that wall's going to have to be completely reboarded as well. That's on a stud wall. So yeah, we're going to get this whole shower area stripped out, and then we can have a look at setting the drain up then. But yeah, sometimes these these things take a little bit longer. Reverted to SDS drill on this, so virtually all off. Obviously, the plaster is going to come in this afternoon and get all this wee plaster board in. That one's coming off all right, actually. But all I really need to do is get this tray out so I can get my waist set up and then I can go. See down there, we're not doing anything with this. That's feeding another basin, I'm not sure what that is. That's mixed out, you see, up, up to the hot tap and then down. Not exactly sure where that goes, if I'm completely honest. But yeah. Get in there, just had a bit of a tidy up. This is just like a standard bar mixer shower. They come off, it is thermostatic, them covers pop forward, and then you've got your 215 mil compression. Get that one, we need that bit as well. 215 mil compression, what's on here? So I'll have to get the water off, and then we'll just cap these pipes off. Ready to put this back on. Can't do that one, one handed. Come on. But yeah, that should slide forward, and then we can just disconnect it. So these are actually fixed to the wall. There's these two long screws that go all the way through and hold it back. I've actually got the water off now. So all I'm gonna do is just cap them pipes off temporarily and I'll double check to make sure the depths and everything are gonna be the same. So get them off and then I can just literally yank all this wall off at the bottom and the plaster has been in adlock to get everything moisture boarded. So yeah, then we should just be good to disconnect it. I've opened a tap downstairs, hopefully nobody shut it. Basin stopped running anyway, so I think we're pretty good. And we'll get that disconnected and go on. This is what plumbers have to deal with look, on a daily basis. Look, brand new service valves, don't even shut off. That one I've capped off. Not fit for purpose. Don't shut off. That's, that's fully off. Not even turned the water back on yet, and it's peeing out absolute rubbish that we get they don't even turn they don't even turn properly i'll see if i've got some more in the van look at that rubbish that's all prepped now so the plaster is, is here he's already cutting his board so he's going to get this wee dotted and dabbed this all boarded out with moisture and then all i've got to do is set my floor gully up in the middle and the one over there and then um john is going to do all the mermaid boarding on this one so we'll be back later on in the week. I'll try and get a few shots of doing the floor gully because that's probably going to be the interesting thing. But I'm hoping just to pick it up off this waste pipe. I know you shouldn't really join waste together, but that one over there is hardly going to have anything in it. So we're just going to give the plaster a hand. Blimey, they've got into that joist, haven't they? Not a lot of joist left. I'll see if we can strengthen that up as well. But obviously I haven't done that. All sorts here, haven't we? Speed fit pipes, copper pipes, old overflow pipes. Obviously them shower ones go through there. We have got movement on these, so if it is slightly thicker, the pipes have got a little bit of movement on, which is good. So yeah, just finished getting swept out in here, and we can get all this set up then once it's boarded. All right, we'll get this waste disconnected off. Right, oops. Beautiful, right, isn't it? They've just, they've just shouted up saying there's water coming through the ceiling. Ideal, isn't it? Go straight down there. That waste is obviously back falling, so we'll have to see if we can sort that. There's more problems in it. Can't believe it. You feel such an idiot when you get water coming through the ceiling. Well, I'm gonna get an electrician out and have a look at that light downstairs. It's gone straight into a tube, hasn't it? Just my look that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that waste pipe yet. It goes, obviously they butchered the joist. It goes on the outside and then like bosses back around and into the stack. So it's a bit a bit of a mess, obviously. You can, well, I can see it now, it's falling the wrong way. But I don't know. And then obviously, obviously I've got to set my, my cow pine trap up, plus that floor gully as well. 
So I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah, just a bit concerned, obviously they're moaning because it stinks as well. But there's not much I can do about that. I wish I'd been a bit more careful, but that's plumbing in it. I didn't mean to. This is what they've sent me to fit. This is a uh, McAlpine floor, uh, vinyl floor one. I personally would have had all this up and had a wedge system in, but that still doesn't negate the fact that this waste pipe's not falling. So the problem is, I'm just going to have to take all these boxes off, which we won't going to touch, and it connects into the source stack down there. Source stack runs horizontally and picks a load more toilets up. So yeah, I've got the, the big boss coming out to have a look. Obviously, I haven't priced this one. So yeah, find out what he wants to do, but I can't, I'm not going to just connect back onto that because it's just backwards falling and it's never going to be, it's never going to be right. So I might end up taking all that off. And then trying to get it, but the trouble is they've butchered all the joists as well. So all of them are going to need strengthening. So it's not it's not that simple. And what they're taking, they've taken two and a half inches out of that, aren't they? Which is not not good. So yeah, I've got the big boss coming to have a look. We'll come up with a plan. And because it's not my job, it's his job. And we'll see what we can do. Obviously that one I'll see in. I think all that's going to have to come up. We're going to have to strengthen all the joists and then re-drill them. Get, and then get lower onto the stack. The trouble is the stack runs horizontal, so you can't you're gonna have to run it that way and then boss on lower down. I don't know, we'll have to sort it. Final attack now. I've had a look on the outside, and there is a, an inch and a half waste coming along here. I think it must pick this basin up. I think that drops down. That's an old external wall that. So I'm gonna cut this floor up here and see if I can get that inch and find that inch and a half waste pipe because it is a lot lower. Then that on the outside, that waste pipe does seem to be falling, but somewhere under that floor, it could even be where this T is, it obviously kicks back and it's falling the wrong way. So what I might be able to do, because we don't really want to disturb any of that boxing, is cap that one off there, leave that foot floor gully in. I don't think that's not going to get a lot of use anyway, that one. Uh, but I think hopefully that is falling anyway from that point. There's not so much we can do about that. And then see if we can pick this inch and a half one back up here and then just pick run it the other way because if it's already across to here we've only got a couple of joists the problem is if we use put another waste pipe in along there we're going to be weakening all that joist even more than it already is so it's a bit catch-22 what you do on these sort of jobs obviously if it's ideal but yeah i'm not happy about connecting <laughs> my shower tray or my shower waste onto that waste pipe because it's clearly what well, you saw when I take, took it off it's back falling and that's no good at all and uh, it's obviously all coming through into the kitchen I've just had a word with one of the staff and they reckon that's always been leaking the shower tray or well, it's always been slow draining rather so that'll be why because obviously it's it's falling the wrong way so yeah I'm gonna get this floor just with a multi tool these towels are staying but well, he's having new vinyl get this up see if we can find that waste pipe and then that's all our problems sorted sorted then because that that's in line with that floor gully we've got to put in and then we can in line with them joists that way so hopefully it should be a good solution sometimes this vinyl comes straight up and then other times it's stuck down really well sometimes when you get an edge you can just rip it continue to get the rest of that up get through the plywood and I can measure obviously the depth of my floorboards there and we'll just get the circular saw and just cut a square out that's the plan anyway right it's there that looks like inch and a quarter though honestly on the outside there's an inch and a half waste pipe that's about three inches lower so I wonder whether it dips down more in that corner well um again they've butchered the joist don't they you probably can't quite pick it up on the camera because they've just notched not sure. So I might get. The, I might take it out right to the corner and just see if I can find that waste pipe because it, it's so much lower than that one, and that's what we need. That one mean that was already broken. But that waste pipe is going along, inch and a quarter there, but it's definitely inch and a half on the outside, and I, I think it's dropping down. I think it's dropping down. So if we take a little bit, a little bit more floor up, I can't see it in there. 
take a little bit more floor and see if I can find that and then that's going to be perfect for you. That one's got a fall on it. You can see that. Yeah, just trying to get over problems today. The phone won't stop me either. That board's been absolutely obliterated. So I'm thinking that looks like a plumber's been there. The way that's been put back down. Yeah, we'll um, get that up and see if we can find that. Right, this is not how I thought it was at all. There's one waste pipe that goes out the wall over there, which we'd assumed would have been that one, because it runs straight in line. I don't think it is. I think that one runs all the way over there and then goes out there. And then this one here comes along at this point, goes um, goes goes straight on. So I need to get this bit here. That one goes all the way along. It just goes on for miles. And there's another one here that goes out the wall. So if it is, if that is that one, I should be able to alter it from this point anyway, because it is plenty low enough, because it's it's well down on the brickwork. But I'll have to get a bit more floor up and have a look. You can see that one's got plenty of fall on it. Well, hopefully you can see a lot better what I was on about. So that one along there must be falling the wrong way at some point. I think they've, they've done it in a weird way. So ultimately I'm going to cut it off here and replace everything from that point because we know we've got tons of fall on that and then it's going to be perfect. They've had an issue with the shower tray tray for a while going down slowly but it will do because it's all backed up so that's what we're going to do it's not too bad these i'm not that bothered about connecting together because these hardly get used this is only just for like mopping the floor and if they spill any water likewise the floor drain there it's only if they spill water or splash it just stops it going through into the bedrooms so that's how they've done them all they've just connected them into the waste pipes normally you'd run like separate waste out but again we're not doing that on these because they are literally just backup drains so yeah that's what we're going to crack on with i'm going to get that floor gully set up i'll try and get some shots as i go along obviously time's cracking on a bit now because we've had to reboard all this and sort all the waste problems out so yeah get that cut off get these renewed and then get this floor drain cut up and then on wednesday i'll come back and do all the impy floor then right so this makes a lot more sense now Based on one going across, that must exit over there. It's the, it's the opposite way to one I thought. That's our gully, that one. And this is the shower one that's back falling. That's got plenty of fall on it through that wall. So somewhere between that point there, it must be falling the wrong way. So all I can do is cut this off here and then we can, I'm gonna swing it around anyway. So I'm gonna swing it around here Probably put a T here somewhere and then pick up. So we leave the basin one alone. We can see we've got plenty, plenty of fall through that joist. I don't know if the camera picks it up very well, but that's got tons. So it's, it's only a problem between there and there. So it's not as bad as we thought. But what did I say the other week? Get the golden rule of plumbing, get your waste pipes in properly and everything else will go right. So I would say it's this pipe here that goes along there that's been the problem. So that's good news, that's good news. So, yeah, we can get this cut off here. That one can stay, and then I can rejig everything else in from here. Perfect. We don't want no Mickey Mouse plumbing on this job. I think he's been dead a while, hasn't he? All sorts down there. Right, plaster has been in, this is all moisture boarded now so they've got a good surface to mermaid board on. Just had a word with the builder who's running the job and we, we're going to put a proper impy floor system in this. It's not weddy, I know I did say weddy earlier but it's impy. So we'll take them floors out, we'll put noggins across and the floor, the, the fall is built in onto the impy floors. So that's going to be a lot better and the, the trap and everything's a lot shallower. So we'll have no issues with getting the fall across. So all I can do today, because obviously I haven't got my impy floor, is... Get this waste pipe cut off i might be able to set this drain up over here and then that's it the impy floor is coming on wednesday it's monday and then we'll, i can get all that set up and then yeah that'll be fine so it's vinyl floor mermaid board is not going all the way to the floor anyway because the vinyl is coming up on a lip so over the impy tray it will all be vinyled up and it'll be a proper wet room system going in there that's the plan anyway right i'm just setting this floor drain up Obviously we've got pipes and cables and everything under there, but waste is going to miss there, which is the most important thing. So that's how that's going to sit. Obviously I need to just take a tiny bit out of them joists just to make it sit down, but this floor is being plywooded anyways. All this is going to do is capture any water and stop it going out the door basically. And then vinyl goes into here, 
and then that plate just clamps down on there, I believe. I do need to read the instructions because I've not done one of these in a while. But that's more or less, oh no, the vinyl goes underneath and that clamps on top. I'm sure that's how they go. So all we need, obviously, they give you, they give you a waste kit. Um, we give you a waste kit and a trap and stuff. So that'll go, all we need is a waste pipe across to that point, which is easy enough because I've drilled, I've just drilled through into there and then that's going to tee here and go across to there and then across to my MP floor when I get it. So all that will make sense when we get there. So we've got the worst bit done really, just figuring out what's what. I'm actually going to cap that waste pipe down there because I can't see if it's feeding something out on the other side. I don't think it is, but I think I'm just going to cap it rather than take that one out. But I think it's just going to make, make more sense. There is another bathroom and then it's like a mirror image on the other side. And I can't see where them waste pipes go because it's all boxed in. I'm thinking, because it's a bath on the other side, they've probably taken it into the main one of the stack. But what I'm going to end up doing is I've just put some silicon in there for the time being but I'm going to get a proper cap because I haven't got my van. I was just a bit concerned if they flushed something the other side it was all going to come shooting out shooting out there but that will be properly capped off don't worry about that. I just had visions of dripping straight back down the ceiling again which is not what I wanted so all I've done is done that as a temporary as a temporary thing but this will be fine when I get all this set up. So floor gully, impy floor, Everything's staying where it was then, and then all we can do is just put the pedestal back and the toilet back in when the new flooring comes in. So hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. And these, these are just like a standard shower, shower fitting. It looks like they give you an elbow to go off with, but we'll have a look at that. It's McAlpine, so it'll be fairly good. You know, they're pretty good quality stuff. This is basically identical to a shower waste, although that's a bit more of a thicker rubber, rubber washer. All I do is silicon on top, that bit goes through, I silicon on there, they give you a tool to tighten that in, so that'll go through there like that, and then that's just your, your top grill if you like, and then that's your piece underneath just for connecting, you discharge it, go something like that. That's got all that in, so that's just a cover plate that goes on top. Obviously, that's just literally like a basin, a basin waste or a, a shower trap waste. So that just clamps on there. I always silicon them in. I've got plenty of fall on that, that'll pick up as, as well. And this MP tray, I don't think it'll be an issue. Um, all we'll do is cut the boards out, strengthen everything up, um, get that fitted to manufacturer's instructions. Obviously, waste pipes going across, we've got all the issues with the waste dealt with. So that's going to be the end of day one on this. Uh, obviously I need to screw all that down yet and stuff, but the worst bit is really getting the waste and I just wanted to make sure that was fine. Let's see, yeah, end of day one, uh, day started pretty badly, obviously with the tiles not coming off, me flooding, well I didn't flood downstairs, but you know it's like went straight through the light fitting and they were panicking a bit. But yeah, we're fine, just need to have a tidy up now and we'll pick this one up another day.